On the road again. That's what I, that's what I was going to say, too. <laughs> We're going on an adventure, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Currently we're filling up our gas tank and we've been here about four months in Oregon and we're still not used to the fact that we can't pump our own gas here. But we are getting premium gas for the price of regular because Costco's regular gas is down. So that's cool. That's cool. Good, and good touch. After this, we're headed for our first time since we've been in Oregon to In-N-Out Burger. Oh man. It's about to go down. It's been like a year and a half since we've had in and out Burger. It's time. Got the goods. Animal style cheeseburgers. It's been a while. It's gonna be good. So we got a little word of advice here. I don't know, I've never seen this at another in and out but they had peppers in there. So I was like, these are weird looking little pepperoncinis. I was like, they're tiny. These are weird. Well, these tiny little things are the devil. These right here are what we call butt burners. <laughs> they are hot. I like hot food. This right here has some spice. So heads up if you're in Oregon. I think we're like, we're around Salem, Kaiser, Oregon. They're hot. They have them here at this in and out But on to our stop for the day slash evening. Well, we arrived at our destination, but it just started pouring. Yeah. Uh, it's 3 p.m. They close at 5. We are at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. They are a member of Harvest Host. So we're actually going to stay here tonight. This place looks amazing. Uh, and we're going to do a tour tomorrow morning. We're going to go check in right now. Uh, then cook up some good dinner here shortly. Probably just hang out, relax, enjoy the rain. Uh, I can't really... I mean, we could if we want to get soaking wet. Uh, they just have, there's jets there's and airplanes like, all over. It's a yeah. big facility. Uh, three, four huge airplane hangar style buildings. I don't know if they were hangars and they were converted. Hopefully it'll be nice tomorrow because there's a lot of stuff outside. Yeah, I mean, there's like a park over here. Yeah. Like a, it's like a, literally a huge park. Signs, uh, says what? Be prepared. Be prepared. Uh, so it's a Boy Scout. Yeah, that's Boy Scouts right there. Be prepared. I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> and so that looks like it's some Boy Scout park back there dedicated to them that's on the property. Uh, there was like a vineyard on the side too. Yeah, there's a vineyard. There's yeah. a water park. Yeah, wing, I mean, this wings place and is water, nuts. water park or something like that. There's uh, a theater. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was actually wanted to watch a movie, but they uh, have a break right now, and their other movie doesn't come out till this weekend. Um, but every day they do like special 3D movies, um, but then they play like regular in theater movies. Uh, but it's like a five day break in between movies. So I looked online and because we were gonna go uh, watch Ant Man, they had playing yeah. up until last week, and then starting this week and they have a different movie it's the middle of the week right now so we're gonna go get checked in and uh stop ranting and we'll check back in with you guys here uh shortly so now that we're all checked in what do you want to do want to pull the projector down and watch some teen wolf <laughs> oh my gosh everyone's <laughs> gonna judge us for watching teen wolf <laughs> Hey, we needed another Supernatural series. Yeah, so. but we're almost done it already. So, pull, pull the thing down and let's watch a movie, a well, TV show, until it's dinner time. We got probably two, three hours till we cook dinner, so. We got a while. So we've had a lot of people ask in the uh, comments, uh, this dehumidifier we have, uh, what kind of power consumption does it use? So I'm actually looking at our uh, Lithionics battery uh, app right now. And we're pulling at 3 amps, 41 watts, 
I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. And we have the dehumidifier on and the automatic cat litter box. So, I, if you, Brittany, can you unplug the cat litter box real quick? I want to see how much of a difference it makes because it's not actually running, it's just powering like the screen. Now it's unplugged. No change. Okay. So, that doesn't really consume any power. So yeah, three amp draw right now, 41 watts um, currently. And on our batteries right now with our power consumption, that means four days, 10 hours worth of battery. So pretty nice to have that big lithium battery set up. But yeah, we're gonna uh, click on the projector right here and uh, get to watching TV show, like we said, don't judge us. We're watching Teen Wolf. Um, we've watched like every series possible, so it's a lot of series. Um, and just so you know, so I have the power consumption now up with the projector running. We're pulling five amps, 68.2 watts right now. And you probably can hear it in the back, the fan going. This thing is decently loud. It's a cheap Chinese projector. We're gonna probably uh, purchase in the next week or two, probably a Nebula capsule or a Fatork, I believe it's called. Fatork Mini. Um, either one of those two. Both have really good reviews and a lot of people in the Winnebago Echo group and other groups have mentioned them. So we're gonna give them a, give them a try, but. Well, good morning. As you guys can probably tell, we did not cook that delicious meal last night. <laughs> Brittany worked at nights. Uh, she kind of gets on a bad schedule, I guess you could say. So she didn't sleep yesterday and she ended up falling asleep at like 6 p.m., 5.30 p.m. Uh, so I just snacked. I watched some, some movies and that was about it. But I'm gonna go inside because it is, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's pretty cold. And uh, I'm gonna work on making some breakfast sandwiches, some Canadian bacon jalapenos. It is gonna be delicious. is served. I of course had to throw on the, it's actually Sereno peppers, they didn't have jalapenos, and Brittany doesn't like hot stuff like that, so just made hers plain, but let's munch down on this, and then uh, wait until this museum opens so we can go check that out. Finally uh, going into the museum, we enjoyed some coffee, as you guys saw I had a good breakfast, go check this out, probably be in here for a while probably a couple hours. It's pretty big. So as you guys can see, the one behind us, there's another one right here. This is the theater. And then this is the main museum right there. So it is pretty large and extensive. So check it out. Hopefully they let us film. We'll see. Check out that. And it looks like Red Cross may be doing a blood drive today here. Cool. So maybe we'll they will stop and get blood, I don't know. But this thing is pretty large for sure. And over on the other side of this building, there's actually a plane on top of that building over there. You guys can't see it. Let's see if we can go in that. Getting out of my way I was hiding 
bulletproof, forever waiting. Then came you. I thought I was what I told. I thought I was. I thought I was what I been told. I thought I was. I was picking up the pieces of yesteryear's life. In over my head, trying to figure out I was going to change. Well, we just came out of the aviation museum. So over there, that's the aviation museum, and that's the space museum over there. So we didn't like. I didn't really I didn't realize. Know. I thought they were all one. So yep. this place is gigantic, and because we're Harvest Host members, we actually only had to pay for one admission. So uh, you get one admission included. Uh, with your stay if you're a Harvest Host member. So that's really, really nice what they're doing here. And it's all like veteran volunteers in there. Yeah. Um, they most their of them. Jackets on. Yeah, most of them have like their bomber jackets, their patches. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them look like Air Force uh, veterans, which makes sense, the Aviation Museum. Uh, saw a couple of Army vets. And they just love to chat with you and, and they know tell their stuff. you all the information. It's probably the best people you could get it from in there. Yeah, so uh, we got to see the Spruce Goose, um, Howard Hughes uh, creation that got its 25-foot flight for a mile long. <laughs> yep. Uh, quite an incredible story. Taxi, as they call yep. it. Well, he was only a prover taxi, yep. but he... he uh, he actually got off the ground, well, off the water. He was in the bay. To prove a point. Yeah. So, really incredible. Definitely recommend, if you're ever in the McMinnville, Oregon area, to check this place out. But we're going to grab a snack now. Good thing about having our home on wheels. And then we're going to go check out the Space Museum over here. And if you have kids, they have these really cool play area that has a Looks like a space, space shuttle. shuttle. <laughs> so it's I think that's awesome. I would go and play on that, but you yeah, know. It's pretty big. It rained. <laughs> so like you can see all the space behind. That's all fields and everything over there. Uh, set up for like hanging out, events and stuff, and yep. walking trails. Which they told us they're doing one this weekend. Yeah, they have a, a sip this sip. weekend. So like a wine sip uh, event. Come enjoy the museum, sip some wine, because we are in the wine country of Oregon. But uh, yeah, if you're here at a family, you remember Harvest House. This is probably a big hit, I would say, for, for families. Look at that. So this is actually one of the uh, Mercury spacecrafts uh, that was built. Uh, it was just used for testing though. Yeah. It's really cool. Take a look inside. Pretty spectacular. And if you want to know a little bit about the history, it's right there. And this right here is an actual section of the East German Wall. This is amazing. What is this? This is phenomenal. This is a phenomenal museum. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you remember Harvest House and you're in Oregon, you RFC have to come here. green screen, check step 468, RFC green screen. It's amazing. 435. Copy, check 435. This is just absolutely phenomenal. Far 427, record 358. I record 358, decimal 24. Affirmative. Okay, full launch control setup. Yeah, that's easy. Go, 
We can walk right underneath those. That is so cool. I mean, look at just look how big this is. I think I've said it enough, but this place is a hit. Very, very cool Harvest House stay. For sure. Brittany, touch the moon rock. <laughs> I just touched the moon. Oh, the actual piece of the moon right here. It's pretty cool. Brittany thinks that his helicopter hybrid is cute. <laughs> pretty small. <laughs> we are now in the helicopter section. The SR-71 Blackbird has other nicknames. Fastest in the world. Believe everything we've looked at says it still holds the record can go 2100 miles per hour it can outrun most missiles insane so if you want a little bit more history on the SR-71 took them 67 minutes 54 seconds west coast to east coast 2404 miles at average speed of 2124. Well, we enjoyed our time at the museum. We have made it to our next location. Uh, so this is where we're gonna end this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let us know if you've ever been to an aviation or a space museum somewhere around the country. And as always, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have lots of adventures ahead. We'll see you in the next video. See you next time. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.